Hi, welcome to Flax Studio. Today we're going to talk about sizing your canvas. A really good reference book to use is this one, the Painter's Handbook. Really good. Um, I received most of my information from Robert Doak, which is where I purchased this rabbit skin glue. And this rabbit skin glue is from Blue Ridge Artist Materials. He's a really good guy too to be able to get some information from. Okay, so what you need is you need the rabbit skin glue, some water, and titanium white. General rule, there are three types of rabbit skin glue. There's a kind of almost solid sheet form. The second is a pellet form, and then there's this powder form. I usually use the powder form. It's just more generally used or recognized. Some of the other places you can get from natural stores. And you want to use three to four tablespoons of rabbit skin glue per one quart of water. So to start this off, you take one quart of lukewarm water, either the night before you want to size your canvas or the, um, a couple of hours before you actually do it. So you take the water, one quart, you apply three to four tablespoons of rabbit skin glue. If you have too much rabbit skin glue, it'll make it more brittle. If you have too little rabbit skin glue, then it actually won't protect the canvas good enough. So three to four is a really good number. You let it sit for a couple of hours until it is kind of solidified. You stir it around a bit, put the now rabbit skin glue liquefied in a double boiler, heat it up to just past the warmth of touch. So you don't want to ever boil it. If you do boil it, you need to discard it because it'll lose its adhesive quality. Uh, it doesn't last very long for storage either. I usually use it and then discard it, the leftover that I have, because over time it loses its adhesive power if it's stored after been mixed with water. So you heat it up, once it gets pretty warm to almost hot, you take it off the boiler and you put one to two tablespoons of titanium white in the mixture, stir it up, and the reason why I use the titanium is so that you can know where you've painted it on your canvas. And it allows a little bit more structure. Titanium white is a really good substance. You don't really have to worry about wearing a mask uh, or gloves because titanium white is not a toxic substance. It's actually pretty good. So, there we go. I think they're called Goliath stretcher bars. And the nice thing about them is they're aluminum, so I can use them over and over and over again. It's about two and a half inches deep by a half an inch thick, and then it has this nice little wood bead going down so you can staple it to it. I also made these additional little cross supports here and some middle cross supports there to be able to distribute the tension a little bit better because when you wrap it skin glue it's going to make it really really tight so there's the tension between all to stretch the linen or canvas usually the best thing to do is to hand stretch it because if you use stretching pliers it'll make it a bit too tight and when you rabbit skin glue it it'll actually break your stretcher bars so we don't want that so you just lightly hand tighten it and there should be a little bit of flex in the linen or the canvas before you prime it. The other thing is this is the uh, twill weaved linen. Uh, there's the light side and the dark side. I have the dark side face up and if you look closely you can barely see the weave in there. The light side has the texture that we want and so we actually use the light side. Um, you can tell if it's a good linen or canvas based on the holes. If it has a lot of holes within the weave um, to where you can see it through the light. So a lot of times I will just pick it up and look at it. And if I can see a lot of holes, see there are some holes there, but this is actually a really good quality linen. Uh, any holes that are bigger than that will actually decrease the quality of the 
linen make it harder to size and then you'll have to use more size which is not a good thing we want this to be the support not the size the size is just a protection for the support so it should be just an inch overlap from these guys because i don't stretch it or wrap it around to stretch it i just tack it directly onto the bar so it's a nice flat edge Okay, now that we're ready to stretch, I use a staple gun, an electric staple gun, because it's just easier to use, and it doesn't cost that much more. And then also, I have these 5 16 inch staples. Anything longer really doesn't get put in too well, and anything shorter doesn't seem to hold on to the linen as well. So through experience, the 5 16 is a good size and uh, then the electric stapler. Again, don't use uh, stretcher pliers. Use your hands when you're doing this. And I usually start from the middle on either direction and stretch out to the corners as I go. So I will start doing that. Okay, so now I have it in the double boiler just to kind of keep it a little bit more warm. I've mixed it well together. It's kind of like a, a milky white with the titanium. The titanium seems to fall at the bottom, so you want to kind of brush at the bottom to be able to pick up some of that part, titanium particles. And now we're just going to brush it on. So you want to kind of saturate it. When you're applying it, you don't want to make um, glossy areas. You want to kind of rub it in and grind it into the linen and then smooth it out a little bit. If you do get those nice shiny spots, um, you can look at it at an angle and see if it's shiny or not. If you do get the shiny spots, you can actually take uh, just a wet rag and with water and just kind of rub it off. So the nice thing about rabbit skin glue is it's reversible to a certain degree. So you want to push it in there and make sure you get it in good. See that there are some white areas and gray areas. The white areas have a little bit more pigment in them, the gray areas don't. Um, and before you actually wrap a skin glue, make sure that all your staples are in good. They can hold it tight because before it was pretty flimsy and now that it is wet and it is starting to dry, I have a good first layer on there. Um, usually wait uh, 24 hours to be able to put any primer on it. With the rabbit skin glue, you can actually wait about four to five hours after it is dry to put a second coat on it. So, I tap it now. Doesn't that sound great? I think that sounds great. Should sound like a drum. 